give it up for Wednesday. Oh, Clap your hands on Wednesday. Oh, Let's dance, it's Wednesday. Oh, it's a happy Wednesday. Oh, the third day of the To worry too much about keeping ourselves warm because we live in a hot climate don't we? This week we've been learning a lot about different animals and how they keep themselves warm in cold climates. Yesterday you learned all about the walrus with those giant tusks. I was very surprised at how big those tusks were. Wow! You learned how they keep themselves warm now today, you can do a blubber experiment to test it out yourself. Lots of animals have that extra layer of fat that keeps them warm in the icy cold. But there's also one more experiment, the penguin experiment, because they have something special on their feathers that keeps the icy cold water from making them shiver, because they need to be dipping in and out of that water trying to catch fish for their dinner and they can't be getting cold all the time so you can try out an experiment with some waxy crayons there's a clue mm, i wonder what it is on their feathers that keeps out that icy cold and stops them shivering so give that a try okay now before we go on to the tapestry challenges for today i think i'm going to sit back with my lovely jasmine tea, which I made with my infuser, did you see? Mm. Oh, it smells delicious. So I'm going to just have these two minutes to get my thoughts together and I'll come back to you to talk about the challenges. Mm. See you soon. Mm. Right, here's your first challenge, boys and girls. You're going to practice reading your irregular words or your tricky words. Now, you're going to play the frog game. But because I'm here on my own, I've made up my own version of the game. I've made my very own leap pad. You don't need to print everything off. You can make some of your own resources, boys and girls. So as you can see, I've got my little lily pads and I've written some of the words on there, okay? And I've also written the same words on these pink cards. And I'm going to put the pink cards face down on the table. And then what I'm going to do is choose a card, read the word, and then see if I can find the word on my lily pad. And I'm going to write over it with a black pen, okay? So my first word I'm going to choose. Now, I can't sound this one out because it's a tricky word. So I know it's though, they. Ah, I just have to know this word, they. So see if I can find it. There we are, can you see? I've written they on the lily pad. Let's do one more. Hmm. Oh, can you help me with this one? Two, two. Hmm, let's see if I can find two. So oh, I've written that one too. There we are, two words. So I'm going to finish this game by myself. See you soon and you go and see what the next tapestry challenge is. So your next challenge is to see if you can guess how long it's going to take you to do some activities. Now I've made myself a little list of things I want to time myself doing. I want to see how long it takes me to write my name. I want to see how long it takes me to do five jumps, to count to 20 and back down to one again, and to see how long it takes me to count to 100. 
but I've put the word guess and actual. So guess, I'm going to see if I can guess how long it's going to take me. Will it take me one second, two seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, an hour, two days, who knows? Then I'm going to use my stopwatch to see how long it actually takes. So to see how long it really takes, okay? So the first one I'm going to try is to write my name. Now I think, hmm, I've had many years practicing writing my name, so I think I can do that fairly quickly. I'm going to write Miss Amanda. So I think it might take me, ooh, maybe three seconds. Shall we try it? Right, I'm going to give it a go. Okay, now, okay then, am I ready? I'm going to press stop. And stop. What? That took me much longer than I thought. Wow. So, it actually took me 13 seconds to write my name. I am very shocked. I did not make a good guess there, did I? So on my table, I guessed three seconds. Now I'm going to write s -e -k for seconds. s -e -k. Three seconds, but it actually took me 13 seconds. Wow. I was really way off there, wasn't I? Not a good guess at all, Miss Amanda. Let's see if I can do better with my two, with my five jumps, okay? Let me think, five jumps. I think it might take me about mm, 20 seconds. Let's see. Right then, let's see if 20 seconds was a realistic guess this time. Let's start, go. <laughs> to write 20 seconds is what I guessed, but it was actually seven seconds. So I was a lot faster than what I thought. But you see if you can do the timings with the blubber experiment. See how long you think you might be able to keep your hand in the ice. Don't keep it in too long though. I don't want you to hurt yourself, okay? And then see how long you can actually keep it in using your stopwatch. Then see how long you can keep it in with your hand inside the blubber. I think it might be a lot longer. Have fun with your experiments and have a great day, everyone. See you soon. Bye bye. Every day is such fun. Let's enjoy them one by one. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Give it up for Wednesday. Yeah.